The Orange are off and running after a huge 31-7 opening night victory in the Dome against conference foe Louisville. The Orange went into the game as underdogs on their home turf, so they clearly exceeded expectations, and here's the reasons why they were able to get it done. Starting off with that revamped offense under new offensive coordinator Robert Anai, the Orange looked efficient, they looked sharp, they were able to get what they wanted against that Louisville defense, specifically quarterback Garrett Schrader looked extremely comfortable under the new system, throwing for 237 yards and two scores. Pair that with 95 yards on the ground and a rushing touchdown as well. And his stats could have been even better, quite frankly. There were a couple drops by the Orange in there. So Garrett Schrader looking very comfortable, had a nice rapport going with Devon Cooper. So look for that to continue throughout the season. And also Sean Tucker, the Heisman hopeful, picking up right where he left off. He took a screen 55 yards to the house he did get shaken up a little bit before the half, but he came back after the break and still looked very explosive, so not too worried there. He finished the game with 98 rush yards and a touchdown, along with six receptions for 85 yards and a receiving touchdown as well. The other key piece to this victory is the defense under defensive coordinator Tony White, holding the Cardinals to just seven points and specifically holding their superstar quarterback Malik Cunningham to just 152 pass yards, 34 rush yards, and then also picking him off twice, one by Garrett Williams and one by Derek McDonald. Pair that with a forced fumble and fumble recovery by Steve Linton, and then turning them over on downs twice. This defense looked very, very sharp. Michael Jones and Terry Lockett also had big games. The only negatives here, mainly the pre-snap penalties for the Orange definitely cost them a little bit. Obviously, it didn't affect the end result. And then also some injuries. Chris Elmore and Stephon Thompson going down Two big names, they were in street clothes for the remainder of the game, so we will have to be monitoring those throughout these coming weeks. Next up for Syracuse, they were on the road at UConn next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time.